So many people have asked me how to separate their audio channels. So whether it's Discord, music, your game, Chrome, anything that's on your computer, you want to split it into their own audio channels in OBS. They want to know how to do this without a fancy Go XLR or another soundboard. You can also get the Wave XLR, which is also a fantastic audio interface that lets you plug in whatever microphone you're using. You get amazing software that separates all of your audio into their own channels. But if you don't have that extra $150 to $160 to spend, here's a free way to do it for your stream in OBS. Keep in mind, this isn't gonna work for a dual PC stream. This is just for the single PC stream setups. If you do wanna do it on a dual PC stream, that's gonna be a little tricky without a soundboard like the Go XLR. I do, however, have a dual PC stream set up, how to get your audio all set up without any expensive audio gear. Link is in the top right in the cards. But let's get started on how to set up all of your audio sources into their own channels so that you can customize and adjust the audio levels. First, you're gonna need a free plugin from the GitHub community. It's Windows Capture Audio. The easiest way is just to download the EXE file, run it and install it. That's what I did, pretty simple. Next, once that's installed and you give OBS a fresh restart, we're good to go. Okay, so when you've opened OBS, this is a plain slate. What you're gonna first do is go to the settings and then go to the audio tab. You wanna disable the desktop audio one and two so that you don't get anything duplicating because we're going to assume that you wanna control every single piece of audio individually on their own. So make sure you've disabled all of them. Now make sure you have your correct microphone selected. So under the mic audio auxiliary, make sure that you choose your correct microphone. Let's just choose a uh, chat mic on mine. We'll go ahead and apply that. And that's gonna be my microphone over there. Now let's assume that you have your gameplay here and you've created your display capture or maybe even your game capture and you've got your game on your screen right now. What you wanna do instead of continuing to copy and paste all of your audio channels from your created scene into your new scenes that you create, what we're gonna do is create what's called a nested sequence. If you're an editor and you're familiar with that, you know what that means. Essentially a nested sequence is we're going to create a new scene here, click add, let's call it audio. And I'm going to go ahead and right click, go to add and do application audio output capture. And uh, let's just call it I'm gonna call it music because that's the application that I'm gonna have for this one. And remember that you have to have the app open when you wanna add this to OBS. So for example, Spotify, make sure you open and play it so that you can put that into OBS. Now this can be any music app that you use, maybe it's Pandora or Amazon Music, whatever it is. So I'm gonna choose specific window and the window I'm going to pick is going to be Spotify here, the .exe file. That's all I need to do. I don't need to do anything else here. It's all good to go. So I'm gonna click okay. You can see the music's already showing up over here and I can obviously take that down because it's extremely loud. I also do have the volume bar in Spotify so that I can adjust the audio there, but I keep it full blast so I get a full clear signal to OBS and I can control all the audio right from there. So I've got my music in there. Let's go ahead and add another one. Let's choose my Discord. So again, application audio output capture. Let's call that Discord. And then again, with Discord open, I've got the discord.exe. Let's go ahead and do that. Click OK. And anything coming from that application is going to show up in my OBS here. So you can see Discord. If I go ahead and play a video, if I can find one somewhere. So right now that you can see I'm playing audio in Discord and it's showing up in OBS. Uh, any team chat or audio from Discord will show up there as well. And then it's just a case of adding all of your other audio sources that you might get from uh, anywhere on your computer. So for example, I have Chatbot as well. Uh, so that's any audio that chat uses when they do exclamation mark and then the command and it plays a sound effect on stream. I also have a video on how to do that. Link is in the top right in the cards if you wanna check that out. And I've also got Chrome, I've got Discord, I've got my main mic and I've got my music. Everything's all set up the way I want it to, and that's pretty much all you might need if that's all you want. I kept it short and concise because I didn't want to keep it long and boring. I hope you guys enjoyed that new style. Leave a like, I'm trying a new thing with the algorithm, trying to get it recommended to the community. If you enjoyed, subscribe and stick around for the future. I'll see you next time, but until then, make something great. Oh yeah, I'm also live streaming, by the way. So uh, come say hi, twitch.tv slash Murray Frost.